Welcome back to the Maths Guy everybody. Today we're going to be having a look at short division and we've got four questions here to do today. It'd be helpful if you got a piece of paper and a pencil and tried to work these along with us so you could see how it works. So here we go. Let's start with this question here. We've got 84 divided by 4. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is turn our 84 divided by 4 into the bus stop method which means that we are going to put our divisor on the outside and our dividend inside the bus stop. Okay, and then we're going to need some steps to follow to answer this question. So we have four steps. The first step is going to be to divide the first digit, which in this case is the 8, by the dividend, the 4. Then we'll carry over any remainders and then we'll divide the second dividend and again carry over any remainders into a remainder and then we would repeat this step if we had more digits okay so let's begin first step divide the first digit in the dividend so we're dividing this eight by our four so we're asking how many fours are there in eight so if we were to draw eight marbles we could see that there are two groups of four here so the answer to eight divided by four is two and in this case, we have no remainders. There is nothing left over here, so nothing to carry over into our next column. So now we can ask step three, which is how many fours are there in four? And again, draw out my marbles to help me. I can see I have one group of four, so my answer is one. And again, there's nothing left over, so that's a clean answer no remainders. So the answer to 84 divided by 4 equals 21. Okay, that was quite a straightforward one. Let's look at a slightly harder one. Let's look at 655 divided by 5. So first thing again we need to do is set up our bus stop method. I'm going to put my dividend of 655 inside the bus stop and five, my divisor outside, and I'm going to follow the same steps. So step one says divide the first digit in the dividend, so I'm looking at the first six, and I'm going to see how many fives do I have in six. So I'll draw my marbles to help me. I have six marbles. How many groups of five? I have one group of five. I can't get another group, so I have one group of five. But a difference here is that we now have this remainder. There's one remaining. So what I would do is I would carry that one into my next column, turning that 5 into a 15. And now I can look at step 3, which is to divide the second digit. So I'm going to look at how many 5s are there in 15. So it's a little bit big to do my marbles this time, so I'm going to use my multiplication facts. I'm going to count up in my multiplications of 5, so 5, 10, 15, and we have 3 groups of 5. Are there any remainders? No, we hit exactly 15, so now I can do my last digit. How many 5s are there in 5? There are 1. So my answer to 655 divided by 5 equals 131. Awesome little bit harder because of this remainder that we had to carry over but nothing too crazy yet okay let's have a look at our third question let's have a look at 143 divided by 4 so this time I'm going to do exactly the same thing set it up into my bus stop 143 my dividend inside and my divisor 4 outside same steps as before so here we go first question I need to ask step 1 divide the first digit how many fours are there in one? So if I have my one marble, can we take a group of four away? No, there are no groups of four. So I would put that zero up here. And because we didn't use this one or any of it, I'm going to move the whole one across into my next column, turning that four into a 14. Okay, how many fours are there in 14? I'm now going to use my multiplication facts. Four, eight, 12, and if I go one more, it would go to 16, so I can't do that. I'm stuck at 12. 
So I have three groups, but I have some left over. What's the difference between 12 and 14? Two. I needed two more to get to my 14. So I can put my remaining two in front of the three here. And now my question says, how many fours are there in 23? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So I can't do that one. So I have one, two, three, four, five groups, but I have some left over because I needed to get to 23. So what's the gap between 20 and 23? Three. So I have a remainder of three. And because I have no more columns here, I can just put it straight up into the answer row. So my answer to 143 divided by four equals 35, because remember I don't need to include this zero, it doesn't change the value. So 35 remainder three. Good job. Okay, let's look at our very last question. We have this one here, 3,926 divided by six. Okay, so first step, set it up into my bus stop again. 3,926 goes inside the bus stop, six on the outside, and the same steps to follow. So, first question says, how many sixes are there in three? Can I take any group of six away? No, so I have a zero. How many groups of six in nine? I have one. And then how many left over? What's the difference between six and nine? Three. How many sixes in 32? Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Can't go that far. So this is my answer. So this is as close as I can get. And that's one, two, three, four, five groups but I needed to get to 32. What's the difference between 30 and 32? Two. So I bring my two into my last column and make the six a 26. And my last question says, how many sixes in 26? So here we go again, six, 12, 18, 24. Can't get to 30, so it would be one, two, three, four. But I have some left over because I needed to get to 26. What's the difference between 24 and 26? Two. So I have a remainder, two. So what's the answer to 3,926 divided by six is 154 remainder two. Good job, guys. Okay, and that's as hard as short division can get, really. It can get longer than that with bigger numbers, but that is as hard as it can get. So if you understood that, really good job. If this video was helpful, it would be really great if you could check out our website at www.themathsguy.com to check out even more videos. See you in another video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.